Hello everyone, welcome to this session of in-depth economics. If you're watching this video, then you must be a student of class 11 and you have opted for economics, which is a common paper for both arts and commerce stream students. Economic syllabus is divided into two parts, part A, statistics for economics and part B, introductory microeconomics. Both the parts carries 40 marks each. Then you are also supposed to do a project work which will be provided to you by your institution. Statistic syllabus is designed so that you can acquire skills in collection, organization and presentation of quantitative and qualitative information systematically. You will also be learning some basic statistical tools to analyze and interpret any economic information and draw appropriate inferences. It is very important to remember that you are not learning statistics just to go through this session. You are actually acquiring an important skill for life. I hope all of you are ready. So let's get started. Chapter 1 Introduction In today's class, we will learn about the meaning of economics and important concepts of economics. Are you ready? So let's get started. According to Alfred Marshall, economics is the study of mankind in the ordinary business of life. In order to clearly understand the definition of economics given by Marshall, let us look at some of the important concepts of economics. A consumer is a person who consumes a product or service. Are we consumers? Yes, we consume different goods like fruits, vegetable clothes, etc. and make use of services like services of a doctor, teacher, carpenter, etc. Seller Sellers are individual or entities that are involved in exchanging goods or services in exchange for cash. When we go to the market, we can see different type of sellers like fruit sellers, vegetable sellers, garment sellers, etc. We can buy these goods and services by making a payment for them. Producers manufacture goods or provide services. A person who grows agricultural products like apple or rice, manufactures articles like t-shirt or mobile phone, or provides services like the service of a taxi driver are all included in the category of producers. Many people are both producers and consumers. For example, this lady can take the money she gets by selling coconut water and go to a store to buy the goods that she needs. A person or an organization that employs people and pays them wages or salaries is called an employer. On the other hand, a worker hired by an employer to do a specific job is called an employee. Now let us look at three distinct components of economics, which are consumption, production and distribution. The act of using resources to satisfy our needs is called consumption. For example, when we feel hungry, we consume food to satisfy our need. The process of making or manufacturing goods from raw materials or components is called production. So during the production process, inputs are used to create an output. The way the total output Income or wealth is distributed among individuals or factors of production is called distribution. Consumption, production, distribution and sale of goods and services are economic activities. Economic activities are undertaken for a monetary gain. This is what economists mean by ordinary business of life. Now let us go back to the definition of economics given by Marshall. Economics is the study of mankind in the ordinary business of life. So, it focuses on how a man earns an income and how he uses it. In one side, it is the study of creation of wealth and on the other, it is the study of mankind. Further, economics is the study of scarcity and choice. It is the study of how individuals and society choose to allocate scarce resources which has alternate uses. To know more about scarcity and choice, you can watch my tutorial, Why Can't We Have Everything We Want? I will provide the link in the description box. We have completed the first part of the introductory chapter on statistics. 
wow that was quick and easy my suggestion for you all is to go through the chapter thoroughly and use this tutorial as a guide to remember important points easily and the best part is you can come back to the video anytime for a quick revision in the next tutorial we are going to take up the meaning of statistics as well as role and importance of statistics in economics so stay tuned by subscribing to my channel if you find the video useful then please hit the like button and share it with your friends until we meet again take care and happy learning